Hello everyone, this is Irv Spanish and this is a quick introduction on what are the differences between Minecraft EDU and just regular Minecraft. The first bit and biggest difference I would say between the two is this server launcher that is included in Minecraft EDU that makes the teacher's job to create and launch a server very easy. Um, not that you can't create servers within regular Minecraft uh, in various different ways, but this is one of the most simplistic server functions that exists. Once launched inside of a computer within a network, any students then can connect to this network. As I'm going to create a new world here, I'll just show you what's happening here. It gives me some different options to create a random world, a world from an actual seed, or just a completely flat world. And I'm just going to say create a random world. And it already starts giving me some different world setting options. So as I create this new world, I'll also go ahead and launch my Minecraft EDU game. And the Minecraft EDU game first offers a option to be able to type in your name, which doesn't exist within Minecraft, so that I already identify myself with a name. And each student that logs into a computer will go ahead and log in with their name. They'll choose male or female as far as gender. And then they will have these different options. We always choose multiplayer because we're going to be playing together. So I'm going to choose multiplayer. And what has happened is a server has been created from the earlier uh, server launcher option. And now I have a server address right here that my students can then connect to uh, from within our school, as far as our school server. So I will go ahead and minimize this and then show you that now it appears here. Here's a main Minecraft server. And I can just join this server. It says, are you a student or are you a teacher? I'm going to say I'm a teacher. And it's password protected so that the students can't get a hold of the teacher tools. So what are the teacher tools? Well, the teacher tools are a very, very cool um, set of tools that make it very easy to build, to manage students, uh, and to do all kinds of awesome things. Here's this video specifically will go over how to go ahead and use your building tools to create buildings like this little iglesia, this uh, church here um, that I've created here, um, and this roadway. And actually, all of this cobblestone was created using something called a fill clear tool. And the fill clear tool allows you to kind of go ahead and cheat the way that you create stuff in Minecraft. Usually, I'm right now set up in creative mode, which basically means I can fly and I can instantly destroy blocks and instantly put down blocks. Um, and in regular creative mode, I would have to come down to the surface here, press E to reach all of my blocks, and let's just pick one of these dark oaks here. And to place the block, I would click right click. To place more than one block, I go ahead and just continue to press right click. If I want to place a block right here, I have to be within a certain distance of that specific block there. If I'm way over here, I can't place the block there. And that's regular Minecraft. But Minecraft EDU allows you to kind of cheat this system. And you are able to place blocks from really far away, which is very advantageous. It's called long distance build. And long distance building here. And I can be, I think, 60 blocks away, which is very, very far away. I'm going to fly up here a little bit. I'm going to place a block. And you'll notice that even if I'm super far away, I can still continue to place blocks there. Very, very advantageous. Another great tool that you don't see in regular Minecraft is called a fill and clear tool. If I'm going to make a building that's square shaped or rectangle shaped, or just any shape where I want to fill in a bunch of blocks, I would use something called this fill and clear tool. The fill and clear tool is very easy to use. Um, the main thing you have to remember is number one that it's on because if you forget that it's on you can uh, fill in quite a bit of area without doing it on purpose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one block here with my right click and then down here at the bottom left you see it says first block position selected. Then I'm going to select the second place here and it's going to fill in all of the blocks between with the specific kind of block. Let's see if it works. There it is. It filled them all in. So you can kind of see what you could do with this is if I make, if I want to make a big building, uh, then I would be able to lay a set of blocks like this. And then I could set another set of blocks 
like this, and then be able to quickly build uh, my buildings. All I'm doing is pressing right click and right click again, and I have the long distance build on this guy right here, and I also have the fill and clear tool on. I have both of those things on to be able to go ahead and build very, very quickly. To be able to build walls, then I would just then say, okay, I got to build, click one right here, and then click one right there, and just continue doing that in, until I'm happy with the height of my building. If I want to go ahead and change what kind of block I'm going to use, then I can just let's say I'm going to use some glass. Uh, let's use some of this brown stained glass. And I can go ahead and start doing the same thing with the brown stained glass. I select it down here in my little selector. And I go ahead and place one. And I place a second block. Place one. And I place a second block in the fill clear tool. Oh, there it is. There's a, it, what if you make a mistake like I just did there? I filled in a block way over here. What's super awesome, and here's a great one uh, in Minecraft EDU, is look at this button right here. It says undo last fill. I'm going to click it. And you'll notice what just happened is everything reverted back to the way it was just a second ago, which is very, very helpful, especially if you make a mistake when you're doing fill clear, which, by the way, can happen very easily as you're actually filling in items. Um, so great, great tools, long distance build, the fill and clear tool. The build mode is something else I like to use, though you may not like what it does. And basically, it allows you to go right through things. So no, there's no uh, physics constriction. So if there's a wall here, I can just go right through the wall. If there's a building here, I can go right through the building. Just like I can go right through the ground here and kind of freak uh, freak out there. See? Um, so the build tool allows you to kind of manipulate yourself and go right through things. I could turn that one off turn off the fill and clear tool when I'm done there too. Another cool thing is this place and dig amounts. I'm going to put the place amount here and I'm going to change it to 10. And what it's going to do is instead of placing one block at a time, it's going to place 10 blocks at a time. So let's try it out right here on the edge of this building. I can click right here. Actually, I need to make sure I have my distance build on so I can get down to there. There we go. Click it. And you'll notice I just constructed a pillar that was 10 blocks high. Uh, and then I'll place another one right beside it. And I can build huge walls very, very quickly. You notice there. And if I wanted to dig those walls up, or if I wanted to dig very, very quickly, like a, into a mountain, make a tunnel, I could also, again with M, change this dig amount and change that to 10 or whatever other number that I wanted. And then I could go right above and then to be able to destroy 10 blocks at a time, I would just click my left click button. So left click destroys 10 blocks at a time. I'm getting rid of them. Very easy. So great button to use. I'm going to set them back at 1. You just have to remember that you actually turn them on. Uh, these undo buttons are just awesome. You can do undo last place, whatever the last blocks you guys place. And you can even undo the last dig. If you accidentally dig something that you weren't supposed to, you can undo that also. None of that exists within regular Minecraft. All of these are within a section called Building Tools in uh, Minecraft EDU. It's time to go ahead and start putting our skills to work here. As you can see, there's several buildings already all around here. In your own Minecraft EDU world, you should try to build two different types of buildings. Let's start off with something simple. Go back into your building tools by pressing M. Click the building tools, which is the last one there. Let's select the fill and clear tool. Close this. Press E to get to your inventory. And select any kind of block. I'm going to choose this little nice pink wool. And I'm going to make a pyramid, and you should too. And the way that we're going to make a pyramid with the fill and clear tool is we will go ahead and place one block, which I'll place it here with my right click. And then I'm going to place another block, let's say about 10, 12 blocks apart, okay, so that they connect together. Now you can also, if you wanted to dare to do this, you could click one here and select one down here diagonally. 
but I'm just going to, to make it nice and simple. Let's make a nice pyramid here and get about another block there. And one of the easiest ways to fill in this big gap here is just to put a block here. Oops, shout it over here. Put a block here and then put one here and it should fill in like a nice square there. Now to be able to do a pyramid, all I'm going to do is get to one of the corners and you'll notice what I'm doing here. I'm selecting one block in, one block in, and then one block in again from this corner and then we should be starting to stack like a pyramid. And I want you to continue to do that until you uh, have formed a nice beautiful pyramid and then we're going to use another tool to be able to bury a hole right through that pyramid. Keep stacking. You should too. And one last little stack. Bang. Okay. So we've instantly built the pyramid here. So let's use a different tool here. Press M again. And let's go ahead and do this dig tool. And let's say we're going to dig 10 at the same time. Now remember the dig tool is super simple to use. And basically instead of digging one block at a time, it's going to knock out 10 blocks at a time. So I can quickly get through a mountain, or in this case, through this pyramid, I'm going to make a hole right through it so I can make an entrance. Okay, So I'm going to point right here and I'm just going to left click. And left click destroys things, right click places things. I think I'm going to destroy this one right here. I should just make a hole right through. There it is, right through that whole entire pyramid. I'm going to do this one and this one also. And all I'm doing is pressing left click. And I'm going to do this one also and this one and this one. and this guy, this guy, and this guy. You can see that there's still some left over there, so I'm just going to knock those out. And now I have a nice entrance to my pyramid. Very nice, huh? Cool. All right, so build up that pyramid, destroy it. Let's set our dig amount back to 1. Press set again. And now what you should try to go ahead and build is an actual structure, like you see these buildings here. Uh, and so more of a square kind of building, a normal building kind of structure. You can start off with any kind of building material. I'm just going to use some cobblestone to begin with. And then I want you to vary your building materials from there. Let's make sure my fill clear tool is actually on, and it is. My long distance is on, and so is my build mode. And I'm going to go ahead and make a building here. And it kind of matches this ground there so it's not exactly what I wanted but it's okay let's make myself a nice building and now I'm gonna make walls instead of just filling in the entire thing I can actually create walls like I had said before and so my building will be like this as far as this structure let me change my building material to something I can actually see the bedrock is at least a little bit different and to be able to build nice walls you remember you can also I'm gonna press M and I'm going to do the place amount here and change it to 10. So it's going to place 10 blocks at the same time. This will help me also to build very quickly, uh, especially walls. I'm going to click, right click here to place this. And there's a 10 block pillar. Okay. I'm going to place another 10 block pillar here and another one here and another one here. Okay. And then I'm going to use the fill clear tool. I'm going to come back here. Let's put this back to one up to one and now I'm going to use the fill and clear tool to be able to fill in these walls sound good I'm going to place one here and place one here at the bottom build in that wall let's fill in this wall too and fill in this side wall here one here and one down here beautiful and on the front, let's make it glass. I'm going to choose something that's made out of glass. Let's go with this pink glass. And I'm going to fill in one right here and one right here. And there we go. And of course, you can knock out these pieces here to go ahead and put some doors into your building. And we'll put these nice wood doors. Uh, and I will select this and this. And that's it. Cool. Awesome. Well, should we put a ceiling too? Yes, we should. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's make our ceiling pink. I'll put one here and put one here. Go ahead and have a ceiling, a roof. 
and now we have a strange little building there. Cool. Have fun with it. Experiment. We'll see you later. Mm -hmm.